take a look at this elemental loop carousel where we are focusing on the center item and notice how the other items are kind of saturated away. I'm going to show you how to do this with the elemental loop carousel and you could reuse the code for the elemental image carousel or anything like that. And this is how it will look on the mobile because you only really want to be seeing one slide. And again, the code will handle that for you. This is really simple and easy to do. And I know so many people have been crying out for this. So let me show you how it's done. First thing you want to do is go and get the loop carousel, go and drop it in. You are going to need Elemental Pro for this, but don't forget there are other carousel widgets inside of Elemental as well. Once you've dropped that in, you want to go and click edit template, or you could pick a template that you've already built. This is a really basic one. It's just a container with a featured image as the background image. And then I went and added in some heading text over there. Don't forget, this is a loop grid inside of a carousel, right? So you could build it out to be however you want. The important thing is to build and make this look like how you want your center post to look because every other post is going to be a scaled down version. The mistake some people do, and I have seen on other tutorials where they're using third party plugins or some really archaic code, which doesn't even properly achieve what I'm about to show you. They kind of focus on making all of the posts equal in size and whatever. And then they make the center one bigger. But then what happens is when you scale up, the way you wanted it to look is now scaled bigger. So the text, the color, you know, the way it looks isn't quite right. So when you build this, I've made sure that the template is how I want my center post to look. And that's basically it. That's how easy it is at this moment. Yeah, you loop grid carousel, you do your template, and then go and set up your slides. So I've got five slides on show. I'm sliding one at a time. I've got equal height. I mean, you don't want to be doing two at a time because that will break the concept of what we're achieving. If we go down to the settings, I've got autoplay for the purpose of the tutorial. I've set the speed up to be 2000 or two seconds, uh, infinite scroll, etc. And I'm also showing my navigation as well that you can see here. Now, when the code is applied, these will sit outside. So if you want to mess around with the positioning on the X or Y axis for your navigations, you can do. So far, this is not difficult to understand. Loop grid carousel, your settings, your navigation, how many slides you're going to show. Now, there are two things you need to do. One, obviously, is add in the HTML code, which is going to make everything work and smoothly dance magically. And you also need to give a class name. But you do not give the class name to the loop carousel. If I go and click here, there is no class name. And even if you go to custom CSS, there's nothing added there. Okay. You don't add the class name here. You add the class name to the container that contains the loop carousel. We go to the advanced tab just to show you there is no custom CSS. If you go to layout, I have called it center carousel. You want to change it. Just make sure you reflect that inside the code. Make sure you drop a HTML widget into the container that holds your loop carousel. So obviously here's my container. There's the HTML. You drop in the code, the link for this is in the video description. Go and click and go and get the code, drop it in. Now, what does this code do? It only works where the screen size is obviously greater than 768. So when you're on the desktop and big devices or laptops or whatever, this will function like this. But when it is below 768, I only want it to show one slide. You can go and tinker with the code if you want to change that breakpoint. You'll see 768 there and you'll see it further below over here as well. What this also does is maintain the size or the proportions of the center slide. Over here is where you can make your changes. So the center one, the bottom bit over here, the opacity is one. I don't want no transparency or opacity. The Z scale is two. Watch how it moves. Can you see how it kind of um, grows at you? So you've got some transition effect going on over here as well. So it's growing for you. That's why I had to do Z index, because otherwise I don't want it to suddenly fall behind in order of the number of posts, you know, seven, six, eight, five, four, three, two, one. I don't want any of that overlapping to go on. That's why you got that. I have got some padding here, even though it is zero, zero, just to show you, you can mess around with this. Just bear in mind, though, with how it looks with regards to all of the other posts. Now, I do want to mention you are going to notice there's a bigger gap here than here. But if you watch the actual animation as it scrolls, it's because the center one is growing. Watch it, right? They're all the same. And then the center one grows like a 3D effect. 
which is why the difference between uh, here and here compared to over here is uh, smaller. Or did I say that right? These are bigger, they look smaller, but it's because it's coming forward at you. Over here, I've also gone and set my filter. So if I change my saturate to be five, watch what's gonna happen to the center one. You can now control what happens between the center one and the others. Let's pop that back. And then over here is where you can style everything else. So I have set opacity 0.5, Opacity might not work for you because you might have like gradient background colors, whatever, and you don't want them to bleed through. Or maybe you do. Padding, again, I've just set to zero to show you could modify and tinker with it. This is the transition effect. I would leave that as it is because otherwise it's very abrupt. You take away a transition and it's like, boom, the center one just goes, boom, boom, grow, big, big, grow, grow, big. Does that make sense? Grow, grow, big, 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 grow. So having a bit of a transition where it comes forward for the scaling is really good. And over here uh, is the scale. So I've set it to 0 0.75. I just want to show you, though, that if you make it be like a ridiculous size, like 0 0.25, you can see what happens. It will still move and grow like that. But it's, I don't know, it might work for you. I thought that 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.8, those kind of sizes worked well. Uh, and that's basically it. So when you get to the mobile, you will just see uh, one slide like that, and then it will move along. And when you get to the desktop, you will see this. Now, is there any problems with running this code? No, but there is something you will notice. So on full screen, we can see this working absolutely fine. But watch what happens when I hit refresh. And I'm happy for anyone to go and look at the code and make it better if you can do. And, and this is split second, right? So when you refresh it, you see one for a split, like it's not even, it's like microsecond, right? You see one post, I'll hit it again and I'll hit it again just so that you can see it. You'll see it there and then you see all five and then the, the other four scale backwards. So you get this little bit of an effect going on like that and then it starts moving. I don't think that's a deal breaker because I know there are third party plugins that do like a center effect or whatever, but you now can do this out the box with Elementor Pro, your loop grid carousel, right? And your loop grid will look however you want. You might have an image, you might not have an image, excerpt, text, call to action buttons, whatever you want in there, right? And they are gonna move like that. And the center one is focused. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I love to solve problems when I know what I'm doing and I can actually solve it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this to the world. And of course, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs>